Am I the asshole for not inviting my friend's husband to my birthday party? Okay, so I turn 21 tomorrow and I'm having a party on Saturday to celebrate. I invited a good amount of people. But my mom needed a list of approximately how many people are coming for how much food she's gonna cook and how many drinks my dad needs to get. Plus, my house is not big at all. So, I invited five of my aunts and seven of my friends. However, I texted one of the seven friends saying hey I'm having my 21st birthday party on Saturday and I'd really enjoy it if you came so she texts me back okay. We'll be there. I'm just thinking, who's we? I then asked her what she meant by that and if she was referring to her and her husband. She says yes. I had to break it to her that there's only a certain amount of people allowed to come over because I already have a list planned out. Plus, there's not gonna be any guys at the party except my dad. And I'm sure my friend's husband would feel out of place. I have absolutely nothing against the guy. He's chill and has always been nice to me. But like I said, there's only so many people that can come. I asked my friend to please not be mad. My friend texted me back, giving me a bit of an attitude. She said I'm not mad. I'm just upset. Because when you gave me the invitation, I automatically assumed you meant me and husband could come. So I had to break it down to her and say dude. I'm not trying to be a jerk. But if I wanted to invite you and your husband, I would have said that I wanted you and him or both of Yal in the invite. But I said you. It's not that I have anything against him. It's just that I invited you only and that's it. I sent her that text. And she hasn't answered. Am I the asshole? In this situation. I mean. Not to be that person. But my god. It's my party. My list and everything. What the heck do I do? Thanks to everyone's answers in advance. Edit Hey Yal. So I've gotten a good 50 of people saying I'm not the asshole. And another good 50 of people saying I am tar. Either way, the people on the second 50 made some good points and I tried to follow the advice they gave. So, I texted my friend, saying hey, I'm sorry I didn't make myself clear enough. And I'm really sorry if I came off as rude disrespectful. I've come to realize that now these days that when a couple is married, you is plural for both people. Which I didn't know at first you no longer have to come if you don't want to. But regardless I just wanted to own up and apologize. Have a good night. I hope this helps settle everything. Thank you guys for the help. I appreciate it. Nah but as you get older you'll realize that couples especially married long term are usually a package. Deal and assume to be invited together. Nah. But if I got a few days notice about a party and found out my wife wasn't invited. I probably wouldn't go. I'd rather hang out with my wife than not. Not the asshole. You will run into this problem more often the older you get. Specifying it's a ladies' night is an easy way around it. Not the asshole I feel like this is an old person thing. I'm 22F and married. If someone, especially a girlfriend invited me out over, I would assume my husband isn't invited unless specified. And I would ask if I wanted him to tag along I love my husband so much. But he doesn't need to go to all my friends' events and vice versa. Not the asshole all these people saying married couples are a package deal are a bit much. I think this might be an American cultural thing. Just because someone is married doesn't mean their spouse is automatically invited to everything. I've never experienced this before and tbh I find it a bit weird. Married people are not one conjoined person. 
Info how well do you know her husband? Are you friends with him independently? Like would you be comfortable if you had to chat alone in a room with him? OMG I'm shocked by the general consensus here. I'm curious the AVG age of commenter. Maybe it's me being younger but the friend is tar to me or at least nah. I have not once assumed an invitation extended to my so unless specified. If a female friend of mine invited me to her party I would not assume she'd want my so too. This is all so weird. I get couples package deal often for weddings, big events etc. But a friend's b-day party who isn't even a mutual friend. So odd. Seems old school. Honestly. As a married woman. I hate when my friends bring their boyfriends to a girl's night out. I rarely drag my husband along when I'm out with my friends. He hates it my friends' boyfriends are so. IDK. Temporary. So he doesn't bother engaging more than small talk which is a chore in itself. Not the asshole, but I guess you'll have to be more aware clear in the future. Inter. Your party your rules. I never understand the whole either it's both of us or none of us package. It's bullshit. If my jeef's friends invited her to a birthday party. I would assume it's only for her. IDK who her friend is. I ain't crashing an unknown's party. Also. Same vice versa. My GF knows she is gonna be party crashing. So she assumes she isn't invited unless it's specifically stated for both of us. Nah but it might have softened the blow to tell her it was a girl party. No one is bringing a so. Not the asshole. Couples don't need to go to every event together FFS. Not the asshole friend shouldn't have assumed you meant both of them and even if she did assume that he had no reason to be upset that only she got an invite. It's not like it's some rager. Not the asshole. People who turn into an unbreakable we when they get married are insufferable. If I have to be friends with two people or zero people, I'm probably picking zero. Not the asshole. I'm married and my husband and I do everything together. But if I got invited somewhere and he wasn't invited for the reasons you stated I wouldn't be mad. At all. I think your friend overreacted. Your follow-up text was very nice. If she is still upset I wouldn't feel bad at all. You did the right thing. Not the asshole. Not the asshole it's your special day. And just Bekua say they are married doesn't mean that they are connected at the hip. I'm married and we don't assume our invite is for both of unless it states for both of us. Not the asshole. I don't get this need for mostly monogamous couples to be extremely codependent and have to go to events together. Not the asshole it's your party. Invite who you want besides. Less guests means more cake for you. Enjoy party popper shortcake. Nice update. Not the asshole. If I want to invite me married friend and you wife to something. I refer to them both. If I just want him. I will say you. A lot of married people do believe they come as a package deal. Where your friend was the R was getting upset about it. I when my wife's friend doesn't invite me to the party. I am super happy not to have to make small talk with other husbands I wouldn't hang out with. Otherwise. I take the kids and we go to Chuck E. Cheese or the movies and have a blast without mom. Not the asshole. Not the asshole I don't get why the assumption from the guests for two people is a given. If they want their spouse to come they should confirm from their end.